New data released on distracted driving tonight shows the impact of anti-texting laws. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer has the details. According to a new data analysis, four states without a statewide texting ban, Arizona, Montana, Missouri, and Texas, have a 17% higher rate of texting while driving. AT&T's It Can Wait campaign did some research recently that showed texting bans in states really do make a difference. Florida Highway Patrol State Trooper Ken Watson agrees. Absolutely. It'll make people think twice, especially if you've gotten a couple speeding tickets, you have six points on your license, you do not want any more points on your license because you're texting and driving. However, the positive news about the impact of Florida's statewide anti-texting law comes on the heels of multiple crashes where investigators say they believe smartphones played a factor. And unfortunately, if you drive down the road and you stick your head out the window and take a look around, everyone does it. Karen McAllister tells me this data analysis solely focused on texting, but as state trooper Ken Watson tells me, there are plenty of other distracting things you can do on your cell phone while driving. If you're not paying attention at a light and a policeman is coming, an ambulance is coming, a fire truck is coming, but you're buried in your phone, that's just as bad. McAllister advises putting your phone out of reach while driving or downloading an app that silences your messages during your commute. We all use our devices so much in whatever we're doing and there is a compulsion when we hear that ping or a notification. The bottom line is you cannot text and drive. Although it is not a primary stop, if you are doing it and you're not looking at where you're going, we have to take action because you will cause a crash. Reporting in Sarasota County, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Texting and driving is considered a moving violation and the penalty could be up to three points on your license.